you know, the most frustrating thing is how, how much of an idiot I feel like. And, and what I mean about an idiot is even though I started noticing what he was doing because he treated me nice, I'm like, I was still like something, something just doesn't jive, but he's just a con man. He's a con man. You can keep that in there. I told him <laughs> at the lawyers that I told him at the lawyers and my, you know, the gloves are off that um, I am. Anybody who's got anything to say, questions, I will answer everything 100% truthfully. I told him <laughs> in his face. So he can come back at me with that one all he wants. He, I told him that in front of my lawyer when he did that <laughs> whole signing. Nice. When he did that uh, that signing paper at the at the diner, mm. um, you know, I, I looked at the timeline of that. I was like, "Wow, I was the last guy he asked, like the last stronghold." If you look at the dates, oh yeah, and and after almost three hours at that diner, he literally said, "Look, I'm so sorry that you got involved and stuff. Only the lawyers will see this. This is just to keep you out." And nobody will see this, but that he will change that line for me. Hmm. I didn't feel right. I said, all right, you know, it's been plenty of hours. And I signed it, man, just over 24 hours later, my phone blew up. They put that thing on the second page of the evidence package. It's like, we got it. We got it. The last stronghold. And uh, that morning I rushed straight to my lawyer. We changed, we had that line change. We made an agreement, but I told them I'm not holding out anything. I had people that would ask me questions and I would share a little, but I would say off the record, like, don't say my name. But after that, man, I called everybody. I go, Hey, whatever I told you off the record, put my name on it. And I told them, I was just so upset. I was really surprised. I remember that day. I couldn't believe you signed it either, but. <laughs> no, it was uh, it wasn't yeah, even the pursuit. You know, they they manipulate. They you know, it's whatever it takes, literally. But it was it was kind of like now I think about it, it's like if he said, you know what, let me just tell him what he wants to hear. At the end, I'll deny it all, anyways. He'll deny it all. And I remember he said, "Well, I got I have recording from the diner." I said, "Perfect." Release it. Release it. I know it was a bluff, but I wanted him to release it. You can literally see him, him and his wife and us for three hours. Three on hours. The, on the speakerphone, right? Oh, oh, his son on the speakerphone for about three-fourths of it. But um, he, he was just showing me all these people that had signed papers saying, you know, possibility. He's like, come on, man, look at these papers. Come on, man. You can't say you're 100% sure. I'm like, I'm 100% sure. I thought I'm 100% sure. And one part I even said, come on, man. I, I said, Billy, I, I did it in my house on a main computer that I set up. And I was able to duplicate your look. All right? Come on. You know, and I didn't even release that. I said, I'm just going to stick to the arcade to help you. And, uh, and his story started changing but if you want to look at that video that he doesn't have it's literally out of the three hours we ate for 20 minutes and then the rest of it we're literally looking at this piece of paper he wanted me to sign for two hours two hours him like him and his wife trying like a sales pitch and finally i'm like whatever all right if you're gonna change it and no one's gonna see it no problem Boy, he showed that to everybody. They put that on like the second page of the evidence package mm -hmm. while all the signature papers were in the back. I was like, unbelievable. Unbelievable. 